Okay, today is Thursday, March 22nd, 2018. This is your daily trade recap. So one of the main stocks that we had in play today was GRN. There was quite a few stocks all morning long. Uh, we had OMER, GRN, MRDN, TUM, and we were watching SND, CLI, ARNA. Uh, we had quite a few movers in the morning, and I think we really did have our pick. Uh, so luckily, GERN ended up playing out exactly like we talked about in, in the pre-market analysis. Uh, this was the trade for today, as you can see, starting at around 5.30s, um, trading all the way up to $6. Um, and that uh, for this month is actually quite a bit. Um, I, I know the volatility and the volume has been pretty low. But today it did come back and did give us a, a glimmer of what we're used to. So it was a long trade that I was in. I uh, haven't had one of those in a while. And uh, I'll show you why it was a long trade. A lot of people ask me, hey, do you ever go long? And I say yes, uh, but it has to, has to, the market has to ask me for that long. I don't wake up in the morning and say, you know what, today I'm going to go long. It doesn't work like that. Um, so... GERN higher time frame on the daily you can see that as I scroll out it's it was slightly bearish but this is not a garbage stock uh, by any means uh, this stock has had really big runs over and over and over again multiple times and we can see every time the stock spikes up it goes quite a bit for for example this one was from a dollar all the way up to seven bucks and that was the range on this move here uh, similar move here, similar move here, you know, and obviously some other moves I'd be happy shorting as well. And, and they will run back down for multiple days on end as well. So not just uh, a single day short. So it's a, it's a nice mover. It does give some good momentum plays. So today, this morning, as I scroll in here, you'll see the chart, uh, the candle for today on the daily, which is wild. But let's just pretend like it's not there. Uh, this is what we opened up to. Um, parabolic move, you could say. A move that was um, over the over the last three months, basically since the beginning of 2018, uh, we've had a big rise here in price on GERN. And we had all sorts of breakouts on the daily, uh, just pushing higher. We had gap ups. We had uh, flag consolidation pattern breakouts multi-layered um, and then finally getting up towards five dollars and this thing closes yesterday and right basically right at five dollars so was looking today for we had two options i'm just going to show you here the the chart show you what we were looking at in the morning so in the morning in the pre-market analysis gern was on our list here and um it had positive news. It had yesterday had earnings, um, and it, positive earnings. Obviously, it went on a rip. Higher time frame. Uh, it's been on a massive tear since the beginning of 2008. Bullish, going parabolic, and that was the term I used here, parabolic. Uh, so we identified a previous major high at 5:30. So that's this level down here at 5:30. Um, and that previous major high from the daily is what we were looking for as um, a bouncing board, something that could turn into resistance or support. Um, we had f ideas for long, as you can see, and ideas for short. For long, we were looking for a consolidation breakout above 530. So again, there's the 530 level. Here's the open. Uh, here's the crazy um, pre-market session that it had, a lot of trading, a lot of action. Uh, this thing, I think, went up to 30, 40 million shares traded in volume. Um, and we had the open red candle, spike up green candle. And then we had price bouncing up on the VWAP on top of our 530 level. There was no way we weren't going to be looking for a long position here as we had a flat top as well, giving us that bull flag pattern that we were looking for. Um, buyers were accumulating near those 530s uh, we had in the order flow quite a few sellers there waiting uh, buyers there i should say waiting for price to get down there um, and uh, the pressure was all green so began a position added to the position 
sold a little bit at pop uh, and the rest was history. But the whole point being that 5.30 we identified in the morning before the market even opened, consolidation breakout above 5.30. And that's exactly what we did. So there wasn't really anything magical, just executing the plan, being an operator. And that's that was the way to, to get this one. Uh, so let me go down to the, uh, let's go to the five minute on GERN. Actually, let's just go to the one minute. We've got enough screen space. Uh, so as I scroll the chart out, you'll see the previous day here had um, a bullish, we had a bullish day yesterday, and then into the pre-market session, we had a really big range. We had a range from five bucks all the way up to five late 570s in the range, and as price was pulling back, uh, it was pulling back under this previous high at 530, right? Um, pulling under in the pre-market session and then finally breaking up over at the open. And that was a great place for us to risk off of because this right now, bull flag pattern, bull flag pattern. So this is consolidation, expansion, consolidation, expansion, consolidation, expansion to the downside for the first time. And then a failure there to keep price under 530 equal the bullish momentum and it actually exploded all the way up to 660. Now in the middle of the day, GRN did have some negative news as you can see here by the chart that I traded, uh, basically traded, get this up here. Basically traded here uh, from the open From the open line here, traded, adding to our position, adding to our position, adding to our position, and then exploding up over, taking some profits into the move, taking some profits at the high, easier said than done, then waiting for price to come down. I made a little mistake here, but I did manage to add to the position. So that was here. And then as we saw price getting up, climbing up on top of this previous high, giving us another bull flag consolidation, looking for that expansion move. And then boom, we had that move uh, covering a little bit, covering a little bit more and covering the rest to $6 right up here. This was what was left on the table, the rest of this move here. But um, if you're watching the order flow, this was a lot of selling strength coming in. And this candle, these candles has moved down um, did signal a high, so I'm happy with that. Um, the price got the price action got even crazier and did continue exploding higher, um, but um, it was in vain because some negative news came out later on GERN and the stock actually ended up coming all the way back down under 5.30, which is unreal. This thing went from 5.30 up to 6.65 and then all the way back down to 530 again. Uh, I was considering another long play here uh, under 530 if price could get back up over. Uh, but uh, by that time, um, I was already gone to lunch and whatever. Uh, so I, I just let it go. Uh, but as you can see, this level once again at 530, price exploded underneath, failed to stay under gave us a bit of a double bottom there to play off of. And you could have taken a long position here from around 540, riding it all the way up to 585, 590, um, above the VWAP, probably taking some off at the VWAP and the rest of it for sure at the breakdown of the VWAP. So a lot of opportunities on GERN, but that's why I was looking for that long because on the daily, if we go out to the daily, uh, this, these guys aren't joking around. This was a serious move. This is serious strength from all the way from the beginning of 2018. Bullish stock. And uh, it's... it's uh, so when it did set up, when it we had the shorts, we had the tighter spreads, we had uh, the volume confirmation, we had everything lining up, showing up on our scanners. It was a no-brainer to be involved with this one. Anyway, guys, uh, good trading today. Uh, again... 
super important to make sure you're staying involved in the mornings. Uh, you're catching the pre-market analysis because it leads to these types of moves. Uh, we're calling it out. I'm calling it out every day in the live uh, trading calls channel. And then we're chatting about it before it opens in the live stream, uh, usually by 9.15. And then by 9.30, we are just patiently waiting, taking a breath, and uh, ready to make some good decisions in the market. See you guys again tomorrow.